Today, I want to give you guys an update on the situation with the DJI Digital FPV system and the fact that it appeared that DJI or Cadex were going to be locking down this new ear unit that they've announced with the use of their cameras only, and they would be blocking it with potential third party cameras or even some of their own older cameras. Now, I put that video out on Tuesday, and after that happened, frankly, all hell broke loose on my side of things. I will say I was contacted by both DJI and Cadex, and since then we've had statements from both parties explaining what the situation is and what is going to happen moving forward. Now, I'm going to tell you up front, the Cadex statement today makes it clear that they are no longer going to pursue locking down the cameras. If you've seen the statement, it does explain what they intend to do based on community feedback, and Andy RC has already done a video talking about that as well. Now, this video, I'm going to walk you through the whole sort of timeline and what's happened. I'm going to explain it as quickly as I can, give you some thoughts on this, having been somewhat at the center of this for the last few days. And then at the end, I'm going to give you my thoughts and then we can put this one to bed and move on. So jumping over to the desktop on Tuesday, I put out this video on the channel. Now, let me just mute that because we don't need to hear it. In this video, I talked about the fact that we have a new firmware update that is going to be releasing a new ear unit from the information in the update. It said it added support for the new ear unit light. I discussed the fact that it appears that they're happy to provide new ear units that potentially lock down cameras, yet there were lots of bugs and things that hadn't been fixed yet. Alongside me releasing that video, I put a post on RC Groups with the video, which was a long post explaining what the situation was, which received about 17,000 views, I think it was at the last time I checked. We then had a post that also went on DJI Forum at the same time, as well as Facebook and a couple of other places as well. Now, since the release of these, from my side of things, it all went a little bit crazy. I'm going to say that I was contacted by someone at DJI, and I was contacted by someone completely separately at Cadex as well. Now, on Wednesday, DJI gave me a statement that I shared on a couple of groups and forums. I hadn't had chance to actually put it on YouTube yet, and I'll show you what that statement is now. And it said, the DJI Digital FPV system will remain open to all FPV users. We have encountered some misleading information online that claims the system will be encrypted for certain cameras. We would like to state publicly for our users that these claims are untrue. Users can upgrade their firmware for an optimized experience with this system, DJI. Now, this statement was given to me as a response to my statement and the video. Now, the interesting wording in this is that we've encountered some misleading information. Now, I asked back, hold on a minute, are you saying the information I've put out is misleading? Because if they felt that was the case, I would argue that based on all of the evidence that has been shared around the internet. And the response I got was no, nothing I have said appears to be misleading. Now, I'm not going to go into that bit of it any further. I'm not going to say or give any thoughts on who was misleading. All I will say is if they're not saying I was, then it doesn't really leave much room for anywhere else, but we will leave that there. Now, after that, I received that statement. I shared it on a couple of other forums as well. If I just put it up, you guys can see there. I put it on a couple of other places as well. I hadn't actually had a chance, though, to share it with you guys just because of how busy things were in the background. Then today, I was made aware that Cadex were going to be putting out a statement as well. 
and that statement is here and it simply says dear community regarding the update of dji ear unit light aka vista or sorry in brackets vista number one this hardware update which is due to shortage of chips and has nothing to do with encryption so they address what our concerns was of the community and those concerns were based on the fact that there had been a lot of hints to say that they were going to encrypt it people had been out and out told it was going to happen Regarding the question on whether the update for the E-Unit Vista will be compatible with the Nebula Nano and other cameras, considering the concerns of many users, we must res be responsible to our users. We will no longer push encryption upgrades of DJI Ear unit like Vista. So just to be clear in that statement, they have said they will no longer be pushing it. That means there was an intent to do it. That's my interpretation of that statement. It doesn't say we didn't intend to do it. It simply says we've taken feedback and we're not going to carry that forward. Furthermore, it says the performance of the updated ear unit light vista is the same as the old ear unit light. Please don't worry. So what they mean by that is this new ear unit light that DJI have sort of announced in their firmware release is the same unit. Nothing has changed. They have also added that they are currently working on canvas mode. Now, this is something I'm not going to go into a lot of details of, but all I will say is this. I have had some conversations with DJI and Cadex in the background, and I did provide them some people to talk to with regards to canvas mode. I believe they're having a chat and it looks like they're going to try and make that happen. So it's been really good that one thing I can say out of this is, We've been able to sort of link some people together to try and make something happen. When this does all happen, I will talk about it a bit more because that person is a hero. He's a superstar. The guy who I actually put them in touch with. Absolutely fantastic bloke. Um, as well as the person I was dealing with at Cadex as well. Really, really appreciate their support too. Um, but it's really good we've been able to do something on this. And I shared with them some info on the Multi-We OSD, because if you don't know, Canvas mode is basically MSP DisplayPort. Basically, MSP DisplayPort, Multi-We OSD, Canvas mode is the same thing, or these different flavors of the same thing. It's all depending on the setup and stuff, but basically it's that. So I'm really pleased that we've been able to get something happening there. Anyways, so the reality of the situation is as follows. We now have statements from DJI and Cadex that state they are no longer going to go ahead with the encryption of the cameras. The new E unit is basically just a hardware change as a result of component shortages. That new E unit has no feature benefits. It's simply a change to allow it to be continued to be manufactured. So in the end, we have a result. The good thing is today that if those users who are using lower level cameras from Cadex, such as the Nebula Micro and all of them, you won't have to mess around in the future wondering, will it work with this ear unit and stuff like that? We're not going to see third party cameras being locked out. And I will be clear on this whole thing. I brought this whole thing up because I personally felt, based on the comments and feedback from you guys, that it was rather unfair for them to work on locking down cameras, but not bring fixes for the bugs. I'm not even saying they had to develop the system, but not even bring fixes for the bugs. And I just felt that didn't smell right. And that's why I personally made that video. That's why I reached out to the community and asked the community to give me your feedback on the problems you're seeing and the issues and i want to thank everyone who sent it over to me because that post you know just to share that post again all of the issues in this i took from you guys you guys shared them with me we would not have been able to put them together without the info from you guys as well so i just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone who has commented on the post who has liked the posts who has sent me messages my world went a little bit crazy for a night or two but we were able to get a result and this was never about making dji look bad making cadix look bad this was about getting the right result for the community on something that didn't feel right. 
whilst I may have been the mouthpiece that sort of pushed this along a little bit, it was you guys who made this happen. Your feedback to the companies directly was the reason we got here today. So that, for me, puts the lid on this one. I think we're done. I'm going to try not to cause any more trouble. I'm going to try not to get in the mix for a little bit of any more of this. I've got way too much to do in here. We've got builds. We've got shark bite. We've got DJI. We've got oscilloscopes to look at, spectrum analyzers to do, lots of new products being delivered all of the time. It's got really, really busy here. So it's time I concentrated on getting some content done rather than having to battle to get this thing where we all want it to be. But I am massively grateful for all of the kind comments and everything you guys have said. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Please do stay safe. Look after yourselves. There's more to come from me in the near future. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description. Please do check them out and I will speak to you guys soon.